Hey, this is Martin from McCartney Studios, just uh, showing you a quick trick how to amplify your voiceover uh, performance or voiceover track and make it so that the music and the voice is nicely in balance. Um, generally, you have a music track uh, in your Final Cut, After Effects or Motion Production, and then you have recorded a separate voiceover track, and you have that problem um, that the music is louder than the voice, and if you turn up the voice, it distorts. So I'm going to show you how in GarageBand you can um, edit and mix the voices so that music and voice are in a nice, comfortable level. So on our voice track here, I've clicked on the, you can go browse, you can click on the edit window, and there are three things that I use. Actually, there are four things. Uh, the noise gate up top is on, so it's set to zero, so there's no uh, gating on this voice. The most important thing is the compressor. So if you go into the gain function of the compressor, you can uh, amplify this. I'd like to keep it between 6.5, and depending if it's a, uh, a very weak recording, between 6.5 and 9. In this case, I have it at 6.5 um, dB. So... You can then have the audio dynamics processor pick up a punch a little bit. You can, uh, you know, set the curves right here, the threshold in the headroom. I use that a lot. Um, and then if you have a high-pitched voice that, uh, you know, gives, a, give, gives off a little hissing, you can, um, you can edit the treble here as well. So um, you can go up and down with that and take the hiss out. Same with the bass if you lack a little bit of bottom. You can amplify that a little bit, and you can see the details here. So uh, that's basically it. Then you replay your voice, you mix your track. The tracks, generally, I like to put down maybe 2 dB, 2.4 dB, depending on how loud it is, so the voice sits nicely and snugly on top.